Mr. President, dear colleagues, Anambra North experienced a very dark week, the worst of its kind. We experienced monumental casualties. Lives were lost. Sources of livelihood were lost. But the worst part, Mr. President, dear colleagues, is that these deaths were preventable. The accident itself were preventable. If only we had roads, if only the drivers of these tankers were trained, if only the drivers of these tankers were cautious enough and understood the technicality of the product that they were carrying and the equipment they were driving. These were the gaps really that made it possible for us to have the horrible accident that took place. It wasn't one, it wasn't twice. It happened three times consecutively within this number of days. Mr. President, it was a nightmare. And like the document has indicated, Anambra North is indeed in need of federal intervention. Many people don't know, but Anambra North, Onicha in particular, is the metropolitan of Southeast. Everybody and anybody who is anybody domiciles in Anambra North, particularly in Onicha. The market in Onicha is the market that services the sub-Saharan. It's a market that has the daily turnover of 6.4 billion. That is huge. The sub-Saharan states and nation feed from Onicha markets. It is crucial to our GDP, it feeds our GDP. And so federal intervention, Mr. President, is very, very crucial. And I urge these chambers to support us in pleading with the federal government to come to the aid of these traders. But most importantly, Mr. President, as we progress, that every market of this magnitude should have federal fire presence to ensure that we do not have reoccurrence of these accidents and that drivers are properly trained and equipped. Thank you, Mr. President, dear colleagues.